Blizzard announced Overwatch 2 and 2 usually means a sequel but it's not in this case because who cares about making a sequel when you can make the same game and just expand it a little. So Overwatch 2 is now in the category of FIFA. Well Overwatch 2 regardless will be bringing some new story missions and focusing more on the PvE side of things while adding few changes and new modes in PvP. Last week we got to know more things about Overwatch 2 PvP and what else they have added into the game. Well since that was 2 hours long and it's really hard to watch 2 hours of the same game, here is everything you need to know about Overwatch 2. Overwatch 2 is going to add some story missions in the game which will continue the story of Null Sector from Overwatch 1's uprising game event. Here you will see new and old heroes team up to take on this threat around the globe. To make things interesting, Overwatch 2 will be adding weather changes and destructions. These changes could be having a snowstorm, a sandstorm and even breaking on some walls and things like that to add some drama into these story missions. You can play as a set of different heroes and these heroes can also have pickup items in the map that anybody will be able to use. These items could be HP generator or a corrosive grenade or a barrier shield similar to that of Winston's shield barrier. These were some of the things that were showcased in a BlizzCon event earlier this year. Maybe there are much more things that they haven't shown and hopefully will be showing more in the future. On the other hand, there are hero missions which will be highly replayable. Players will be able to level up their heroes and unlock new abilities based on what you achieve and give new or upgraded abilities to some of our heroes such as Mei can become a snowball herself or soldiers heal will move along with you and more. These skill trees can help you make your character better with incredible abilities that will only be used in hero missions and maybe in the story missions. To make this game look a little bit different, Blizzard have changed or modified the engine to improve the visuals of the game, make it a little bit brighter and more sharper and have more powerful effects. Not only that, the sound effects of this game has also been changed completely. These sound effects are made in such a way that it will mimic kind of the real life gun sounds and these changes actually are really good. They also have changed the look of some of the heroes just a little bit and again they also look very good. With that there is one new hero and we know that hero is Sojourn. She is a DPS player as she fires just like Soldier 76 but the gun that she has is a real gun which has another fire type and that gives much more damage although you will need to wait a little because it fires after some time of waiting similar to that of Widowmaker. It looks like she will be a little bit faster than Soldier in some ways. Now that's all about story and characters but what about PvP? Well it looks like there will be some drastic changes in the PvP side of things. The biggest change being changing the game from a 6v6 game style to a 5v5 game style. Removing one player from the team and that one player is a tank player. So now your team composition according to the role Q would be one tank, two DPS and two support. According to the team, two tanks were making things chaotic and hence the change and to balance things out, tanks will be more of a brawler type of character rather than defending their team and standing back. For example, Reinhardt has double fire strike and can cancel his charge anytime and can also steer his charge much better. Zarya can now have two bubbles for herself and for others. Winston now has an electric beam as a secondary fire and I guess there is more. These changes are not for all the tanks but only few of them. There will be new maps added to the game as well which will support the 5v5 composition as these maps have different design than that of Overwatch 1. They have added more covers, more verticality and make it look a lot more different. This was entirely shown in the recent Blizzard stream where they showed gameplay of 4 different maps. We have a brand new mode by the name Push which we now know how it all works as a robot will be used to push a payload to their side. Although you will have to fight for this robot so that he can push either of your payloads to your side. In the end it becomes a similar type of game mode to that of a payload game mode but a little bit different and so far the little difference is well the robot pushing it. Otherwise it is basically the normal payload mode that you already have in Overwatch. Hopefully there is something more in this push mode that makes it a little bit different. Now with all of this you must be wondering that this game looks exactly the same. Why shall I buy this game for PvP? Well you don't need to do that because it looks like the PvP will be shared across both the games. Meaning players from Overwatch 1 can join players of Overwatch 2. Although if that's the case then Overwatch should get the same visual and sound upgrades otherwise it all is gonna be a big mess. 
Maybe it's gonna be similar to that of Call of Duty Warzone, how Call of Duty Warzone was able to change the way the game was when Black Ops Cold War released. Also, all the cosmetics from Overwatch 1 will be carried over to Overwatch 2. Well, so far, these are everything you need to know about Overwatch 2. And this is not the entire information about Overwatch 2 because there is more on the way. This is how far Blizzard has shown to us. And in the future, they have promised to talk more about the game. So when that happens, you guys will be informed. Hope you got some information about Overwatch 2. If you did, leave a like and also comment down below what you think about Overwatch 2 in general. And make sure to subscribe to watch more videos every single week in Gamer Connect.